we're down to like the final couple minutes. So I'm gonna share my screen again. And this will be its own video as well. So um, I know I'm gonna be going through things fast here, but uh, all of this information will be in, in, in the Google Classroom. So in terms of next steps, um, if you don't feel like making a Quizlet or you just can't think of something other than the words and definitions um, and someone else has claimed uh, your chapter, no worries. Uh, part of your opportunities for participation are curation of existing resources as well as the, um, the development of, of Jamboards. I've actually seen a couple of people create a Jamboards and they put them in your tracker and it's not the ones that are our templated ones. And so that's awesome. Like we want different types of things. Um, if Let your creative juices fly. Um, but in terms of curation, here's two, um, or two really good uh, sources that you might consider um, finding things and actually submitting um, resources. So I'm gonna go to Learning Chocolate, which is that one that I mentioned, is a great uh, vocabulary learning platform. And so they have a bunch of different categories, um, but two of the ones that are uh, really good are food. Obviously that's gonna deal with our chapter four is around nutrition. Um, and then they also have one on body and health, uh, which deals with parts of the body, which I think is deals with doctors, right? Um, I think the doctor's chapter in both um, staying healthy and staying healthy for beginners has naming body parts. So I'm gonna go to body health. And we can see all sorts of different um, Quizlet, or not Quizlet, learning chocolates um, that are in here. And I'm going to go to maybe basic pains. So lots of ads. Um, I don't have ad blockers on my this version of Chrome that I'm using, which is why we're seeing that. So that's a pain. Um, but these are uh, things, different pains, and you, you know, someone has to describe with the doctor. I have a backache, I have a cough, I have a headache. And so these are great activities because you hear them. Um, and there's different activities that are just listening. And you can just drag that. And it walks through the same set of activities. You see the ads, as I said, but if I've seen um, many ESL classrooms, just they teach the students how to do this um, to expand it. And then the ads go away and you have a nice full activity. So I wanna submit this um, because I think this is a great additional resource that's available. It's already made um, that goes really well with chapter two of staying healthy for beginners. So one of the things that we're going to put in the Google Classroom is this a link to this form. And I'll sh I'm gonna open it right now. And I'm also going to uh, share the link with you in the chat so you can just have a look at it. And I'm just going to model um, how to complete this form for that activity, this, this, um, this really great um, learning chocolate thing that I know goes with chapter two. So it's got information up top and I'm just going to enter in my email. Jeff Gumis. And so I know this goes with the doctor's chapter. Um, and it's a, uh, these are all the different options that I could, I could, what's called tagging it as. So um, this is a, ooh, there should be an interactive in here. I need to add that. Um, I'm going to call it an interactive, sorry. Um, and then I'm just going to paste the URL. So here's the URL. Um, and I'm going to copy that. So right click on it. Copy. I'm going to paste it. And then it's learning chocolate. Now, learning chocolate does have um, the ability to uh, learn different languages. They're limited. Um, in terms of learning, but it does have uh, origin languages here. So it might be available in other languages. I'm not gonna spend time doing that, but just I'm unsure, but I know it does have that option, but I'd have to see if that same module is available in others. Um, and then, so if you know there's additional languages available, you can put it here. 
and then any other comments you want to undo there. And then I submit. And so then we have a tracker and we're gonna be adding these to our, our spreadsheet because any resources that you submit that are additional are gonna actually go into those Wakelet collections that you create as part of the next session. So you're creating a collection that's gonna contain all of the activities you've created, as well as other things that have been curated. Um, so that is one of your additional options for participation. Um, or you can create activities as well. So um, I've created one that's actually in your trackers right now. Um, so chapter four of Staying Healthy for Beginners has this great nutrition activity um, that goes with my plate. And this is a categorization activity. Um, so I created a Jamboard and this link is in the slides, um, but where I put the my plate on the, on the background like you've learned to do, and then they can use the image tool to find images and add those to the areas. They can use the text tool, they can use sticky notes. So they're learning to use all of the different tools to add and they're also categorizing. Um, so that's one activity that I've created. And I'm just gonna show you if you decide to create something um, on any of your chapters, here's chapter four, um, this is the activity that I put in there. So I these are this is the space for if you want to create your own things, you can go ahead and add them in. Um, and I'm sorry we're going a little bit over. I was really happy, but I guess we needed to truncate the Jamboard um, sharing. But I got so excited about all of the things that you're doing. So here's an example of one activity I've created. Um, Jamboard's a great tool for labeling. So there's lots of images and labeling things in the Staying Healthy curriculum. So this is from chapter two of Staying Healthy for Beginners. Um, and it's parts of the body. So I took this image of um, the face and I, I removed, I, I like went to paint and I got rid of the labels and then I added little boxes. But now I have this nice little activity here where um, students can drag these to the different parts of this space. So it's literally mirroring the curriculum um, that we have. And so they're seeing an actual interactive that goes specifically with this curriculum and with this lesson. So let your creative juices fly um, and look through your chapters or others. If you've got great ideas um, for creating Jamboards or even other things, um, go ahead and, and do that. Lots of questions like this, like resources like this, um, activities in the PDF are available, but you know, I could create a Google form if you know how to use Google forms, if that's a tool you use or quizzes is a tool you use, um, you could create an open-ended quiz um, so that that is a resource that we add to our wakelets at the end. And so it's an activity that's in the PDF, but teachers also have the option of having an online uh, mobile friendly, if it's Google forms, um, tool that they can do this particular activity from Staying Healthy for Beginners Chapter One. So let your creative juices fly um, is the point here. Um, if, if Because if we're limited on the Quizlet opportunities, we, we want all sorts of things in here beyond just the ones that we're creating. So I know we're like almost 10 minutes over. So real quickly, um, thank you for those of you who have made it through two sessions. Um, our next session is a while from now. It's actually, there's a three week break. So between now and that Wakelet session, which is three Fridays from now on March 18th, um, your job is to definitely finish the Jamboard and, and say that it's done so that we can review it um, in the tracker. We will provide feedback on that. For those of you creating Quizlets, um, go ahead and do the same thing once it's ready, once you've reviewed the checklist, which you'll get on Monday. Um, you'll add that URL and we'll review it. And then as part of our Wakelet training, we're gonna learn how to use Wakelet. And then we're going to be um, compiling as teams, all of the resources into a Wakelet. So that just like this uh, ESL story bank uh, thing that Rachel shared earlier, that's we're gonna have one of those for every one of the Florida Literacy Coalition Staying Healthy chapters. So that's our, that's our end goal is all of these resources that we've created, curated, um, and developed as part of these trainings are all gonna go in there so that every chapter has this great, rich, robust set of online resources. Um, and just a reminder, your completion requirement is attending these sessions and then creating at least one Jamboard or Quizlet. So again, I'm gonna reach out to anybody who has not um, yet completed uh, Jamboard or signed up for one to make sure that you have the opportunity to do so. 
And then you're going to work together as a team to create your wakelet. Uh, because just like with, with Quizlet, there's limited opportunities for that um, within wakelet. There's only one per chapter, but we can actually, I'm going to create the wakelets ahead of time, at least the base file, and you're going to be added as collaborators. Um, so you can all collaborate in that same file and work on it together. And then the opportunities for badging. So in addition to your certificate, if you want to earn your health literacy leader badge, use that form to curate at least 10 additional um, resources for any chapter. It doesn't need to be for yours. It can be a smattering of chapters, but you have the ability to do that curation. Um, and then if you wanna be an ed tech leader, which is also another badge, uh, it's creating a new activity outside of the ones that we've templated uh, that goes with this curriculum. Um, so lots of opportunities for additional certification and um, batching. But again, more importantly, just getting more resources into the hands of folks who are interested in using Staying Healthy. So I can stay for like two minutes for questions if you have them, um, but we will have follow-ups later this afternoon with these recordings. And then again, the checklists for making sure that you've um, completed all of the requirements for your Jamboard. I apologize for going over, but again, super great job so far on the Jamboards. Any questions? What kind of additional activities are you thinking about? That's up to you. It's that is completely up to you. That's the thing. Like we we love the makerspace, like doing templates so that people have kind of guardrails as they're learning how to new use to use new tools. But I mean, you just showed you just showed some great activities, right? So um, you you took something and ran with it and had uh, great ideas. So look through the PDFs of the curriculum and you're gonna, you're probably gonna stumble across something and go, hey, this would be a great sorting activity. Um, I could create a Jamboard of this. Um, or, hey, this could be a great word building activity. Um, like one of the, someone who actually hasn't been to either of the sessions, so, I, but she, she was invited to join and she participated. Um, she created, where is she? Yeah, like I, she, so I, she just, she didn't know to, what to do because she wasn't at the session, but she created this activity in Jamboard that gets at, um, gets at the types of specialists that you see for different things, right? So neuro goes with mind or feelings, onco goes with cancer, um, psych goes with, oh, no, psych goes with mind or feelings, neuro goes with, um, I know there's, brain. yeah, there it is, yeah. So, um, so she just, you know, <laughs> she decided to create something on her own. And this is great. This is a great activity that it's, you know, it's not directly something that's in the curriculum, but it certainly relates. Um, so, you know, anything along those lines, the, the my plate one, I, I was inspired because in chapter four of Staying Healthy um, for Beginners, they talk about my plate. And so I thought, well, that's a great categorizing activity. So I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take that graphic, um, which is from the Department of, or the Federal Food and Drug Administration. So it is an openly licensed resource, which is a government resource. So I made that the background and then just created directions for people to, um, Add a, add a sticky note or an image of a food and categorize it. Um, so sky is the limit. Okay. So guardrails off, like create. Thank you. Rachel, can you please show me the page where people could share your work? Um, Bibiana, uh, it's actually, it's in the classroom and I think you're in there, but I'll share the link. This is the... This is the resource tracker we're putting everything in. There it is. And um, just again, go to this little all sheets menu. Um, the team rosters has got the information of what you signed up for. So you're in chapter five, um, but you can click on this link uh, to get to chapter five, um, or you can use this menu. And just to note for the Jamboard that you created, um, it looks like you didn't do anything in chapter five. So doo, 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 doo. I know you created a Jamboard. Um, 
you're somewhere else. You worked in chapter one. Okay, thank you. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Um, link to resource sheet, chapter one. Not seeing you there, and I know I've seen you somewhere. Um, here you are. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop recording because I we don't need me blathering. Yeah, because I, I know I put that in a wrong place. I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is, I actually need to talk to you because I think um, Faye already created the basic ones. So we're gonna, um, 